Hi, I'm Carl, and I'm a senior designer at LEGO, and today I'd like to show you the LEGO Haunted House, Manor Von Baron. Manor Von Baron is a haunted house theme park ride, and the main attraction is a free fall tower. So it's like a crazy elevator that the minifigures can get on, ride to the top, and drop super fast to the bottom. Baron Von Baron is one of the greatest supervillains of all time from the 1998 Lego theme Adventurers. And he traveled all over the world and stole different artifacts. With this set, what we've done is actually taken some artifacts from other old Lego sets and put them in to his house. It starts out as a Gothic style mansion. And then the house also unfolds. So you can go inside and look at all the play features. You can see the uh, haunted front doors that actually can open by themselves a spooky organ, the ticket stand where you can buy tickets, some kind of strange altar in the attic. Who knows what it was originally for? We've included a lot of detail just around the house as well to really bring that haunted mansion to life and really make you feel like you're in this super spooky atmosphere. One of the details that Carl was really excited about is we used a little dark gray frog on the exterior to represent gargoyles. And we got so many laughs when we were putting that on the model. It was really, really just a fun little detail to put in there. We have a lot of builds that are taken and rebuilt from old Lego sets. We have the head of the Sphinx from one of the adventure sets. We have the obelisk from the adventure sets. We have the heads of Anubis, again, from the adventure sets. We have the orb of Ogle from the Alpha Team sets. There's even a cursed painting that the Baron had painted when he first got the Rigo Ruby. What I absolutely love about this set is right here, the portrait of Baron Von Baron. I was so happy to be able to work on this because I was able to capture this like evil iconic character in a haunted mansion. It's amazing. You can see him holding the ruby that he stole. And then of course the secret behind it is that once you illuminate it, you can see the mummy's curse haunting him forever. I'm not sure what it is about Baron Von Baron that I love so much. He just always, whenever I looked at that many of you, he looked very handsome to me. Also, he's extremely evil, which I sympathize with. This set is filled with a ton of minifigures. You got two spooky ghosts, two spooky twins, and the rest are attendants that love this ride, and also one skeleton for fun. Carl made sure that I did a ton of decorations for this, and one in particular that I like is this one, which is a reference to Fright Nights. You can see the numbers indicating one of the set numbers, um, but I'll let you look that up and discover it on yourself. The elevator is actually a very interesting function to design. To help work on this problem, I actually got Mike Psyche to come in and help me. There was actually a lot of physics involved to get it to work correctly because what we needed to do was have this elevator drop and then slow down when it got to the bottom of the tower. So we built some flywheels into the tower that the elevator cart can transfer the energy to the flywheels and then pass by those and the energy stays in the flywheels and is no longer in the elevator cart. And actually as part of the testing of the model, we, we wanted to see, okay, how high can this tower be built and actually still work? Carl was convinced it could go really high. I think in the end we built one that was two meters tall or something and it didn't work at all. It kind of works. But the height that we're at is really, really good. A lot of stuff we do, we do as a team. But for this set, it was really um, all working on at the same time. So we'd have one of us working on one part of it, one of us working on another part of it, and then we'd get all together and work together. It was really fun to work in this big group of designers. We could really focus on our individual tasks. We all have this kind of crazy obsession with this 1998 Lego theme, Adventures. It had this hero, Johnny Thunder, and it was set in Egypt, and there was a villain called Baron Von Baron and Sam Sinister, and they were going about kind of chasing these Egyptian relics, trying to find this ruby, trying to avoid the cursed pharaoh. We did something called paired design, which is something that Carl and I have kind of made up. I would be sitting at my computer working on the model. Carl would just sit right behind me and almost just watch what I do and say, don't use that brick, use this one instead. Or, oh, I think you need to turn that or raise it. I think it worked really well to, to come to a really great result in the end. One of the other new things I did with this process was actually bring my eight-year-old son, Oliver, to work and have him build some of the interior details. The stuff I made in the haunted house was a skeleton hanging from its feet, a snake under a table in the attic, a barrel next to the organ, and a pumpkin in the front yard. The way that this set ended after this whole design process is beyond a dream. 
this is, I never imagined that we would be able to do something that had so many different fun features and functions and details, and it's just, it's beyond what I could have dreamed of.